Hello YouTube, this is Gastia aka Fazil and welcome back to another tutorial in SketchUp where I show you how to make a car in SketchUp. Now this video is really just an extension, additional rather. So in this episode I'm going to be making or showing you ideas of what you can do for your own project. So right now I'm making that sidebar or whatever you call it these days basically the thing that goes at the bottom of your core so I pulled out the bar by one inch and I continued by putting down a square and then I drew a line down at 45 degrees inside the square using that line and the follow me tool I carved out an area that looked a lot smoother as you can see I ran into a few problems but it was a lot simpler than I thought And then I went ahead and did my style of a door. Now you have to be careful on this part. If you even get one mistake, your line will not be stuck to your car and you will have some troubles. How you will know this is by looking at the line and seeing if it's a bit too thick than the rest of your car, then you know if something's wrong. Rub it out and try it again. Right now you may have just seen me erase my whole door, but that's just me being careless and not thinking what I'm going to do ahead. But the process is still the same. You draw your window, draw your door, and you're done. Well not technically. If you didn't see how I made the second border around the first one, here's how. First you select the shape that you want to resize, then you select the offset tool next to the scale tool. Using that you can click and drag up or down depending on your border size. Now all you have to do is rub out the excess bits and you're done. Well, not technically, again. Now we're on the fourth non-essential thing, which is of course the door handle. I used the circle at first and then I squished it by using the scale tool to make it a bit more overly even if that's a word. I pushed the oval in a bit and then using more curves because I love them I created the main part and then using the push and pull tool again I made the handle come out. Here's another tricky part. This part is about that groove that someone can put a hand comfortably through and not worry about it. First I made a curved line sticking up from the base and made it into a shape by putting a straight line through it. Then using the push and pull tool I pull it down. I know it looks weird but just hang on. All you need to do is select the both faces by holding down control and select and then right clicking on go down to insert faces and select with model and there you have it you can now rub out and do right click and move faces wherever you need to here on the grey part I right clicked and select the reverse face for now it's just for the looks here I'm making that groove that your thumb will rest in but then I realized that I made this on the other side and normally people don't use this on this side. Here I am making the last and final thing that you'll probably see me make in this video which is of course the headlights. First to start by making how I want my headlights to look on a plain wall. Your drawing has to be right in front of where your drawing would have been on the car. This is because you're going to be pulling your drawing out and pasting it on the car. How you would do this is by selecting one sector of your headlight and then pulling it all the way into the car. 
Then select every part of the part that you just pulled out and then right click on it. Select insert face and then with model just like we did before. Now you can go ahead and rub out the 3D shape that you had pulled out and you're done just with that sector. Do this with all the shapes you have got left and yeah you're done with your lights. Have you guys realized that I've used so many dons? I'm just like going like don, don, don. Yeah, I'm just like don. But, but yeah, I'm just done with this here. Yeah. Doesn't it ever get annoying? Just a question. Well, it looks like we've come to the end of this video. Allow the dons, but. Yeah, subscribe, like and comment and I will see you next time without the dons. Bye!